This is an excellent display here for Nashi, uh, and a uh, very good job. Uh, so it came unending. Oh, I'm never gonna pop the animation. Wait, what? You ever seen a plane that big, Bradley? Okay, I will see you in the world. I love the gifts. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome to week four of Team Wars. I'm your cast for today, Hideki, and we're just gonna jump right into it. Switcheroo versus uh, Kings. We're gonna have Uno versus A2. Let me see who's on top, who's on bottom. Uh, in game music. On. A2 at the top, Uno at the bottom. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> yep. Feels bad, man. She. Also, what's up, Buns? Welcome. Alright, so it looks like A2 is uh, opening uh, pretty good with the uh, with Gen X Undyne. You love to see it. You love to see it. Ooh. Cosmic Cyclone coming in from Uno, gonna hit the only back of gonna hit the impact. Alright, so so far depending on how Uno is gonna open so far A2 is sitting tight. Oh shit. Oh there it is, there it is. He's gonna come in with the Quarion play. I mean, he has a fist foot in the graveyard. He's gonna search. Well, can he? No, he can't. Never mind, he can't. Well, he could if he had turtle in hand and another level three. But I guess he didn't have it. All right, so we're gonna see Cold Dragon coming in. A two is gonna chain to the effect. Going for an Amatrix play. Gonna discard the crystal entry. A lot of plays in the ban list. Also, look at this crystal fist fern prismatic. You love to see it. Alright, guys, is he gonna pop off? Is he gonna extend his place? Is this man going in? Nope. Alright, so he ends with a C3. Special summon the wheeler there. He's gonna start popping off. He's gonna start popping off.
Goes into a level six. Alright, so this is good for A2 because he's gonna force out the Citri early into Namatrix. Or. Yeah, Namatrix. Crystal Entry is gonna change levels. Oh, he's going for a uh, Power Insectron play. That's nice. That's actually super nice. Yo, that's actually that's super nice. Crystal Entry making a Citri level three, so he can go into an Insectron. So if he wants to. Send it to the extra deck, then it's gonna be useless. Also, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, uh... MA? Wait, they did? I made a mistake? Hold up. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Kings, kings. Kings, kings, kings. Where's kings? Nah. Nah, fam. Hold up, hold up. No, no. Draw sense. It was, it was draw sense, not destiny draw. Oh, D draw is also. I, I thought you were talking about Destiny draw. All these names, man. All these acronyms. Making me confused. And whatnot. Alright, so he's gonna banish the fist for. Gonna search for the turtle. Is he going for a Crayon play? He is. Does he have a level 3 or, or not? He's not going for a Crayon play? So he searches for the impact. Wait, no, I don't think he can. Because he used, he used Fistburn and Smiger. Unless he has Rosenix. Oh, wait, of course, he has level du duplication. I forgot about it. Lol. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about level duplication. This man's going in. This man's going in. No impact, no nothing. No sir. And says the impact that he just searched. So he he lost his Baryonic. So the best thing he has for removal is probably either Coral Dragon or he needs to make his own uh, he needs to make his own uh, Corion. But even if he does and he banishes the Corion, he can just bring it back with the uh, with the impact, I believe. Yeah. So, he's in a tough situation, normal summons are level 2, that's not what you want to see. Alright, so he does have the turtle in the graveyard and the Rosenix. So he can do something. Okay, he just passes. Rip. He just passes. Says the cards he drew. He drew.
This is going into the Citri. Citri is gonna go for a uh, Bower and Zekron play. Power in Zekron. Ba 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 Yo Oh Interesting impact I guess he wants to protect this uh, Croyon from any targeting effects So we use it uh, right now Alright, so level duplication is gonna activate. What is it? Going to target the uh, wheeler. He's going for his own crayon play. Genix control on the field. Goes into a crayon play. It's gonna wipe up the board, but he does have a uh, impact in the graveyard. targets all three monsters and Wheelader goes for the fist fern interesting I mean I would have just gone for the Quarion and just tried to try to burn the impact but I guess he has something else in mind so let's see I guess he just wants to crash. I knew it. Forbidden Lands. Oh no. Oh, but he has his own Forbidden Lands as well. Imagine he would target his own Forbidden Lands, his own Quario. <laughs> Like I've seen people do that. Like they're gonna get hit by a forbidden lens. No, I'm gonna activate my own lens. Now your lens doesn't target me or affect me. Big brain. Like, and he scoops. And uh, Uno takes his first. Game. <laughs> yeah, he stole a citry. They started guys, we're just gonna hop straight back in. Alright, so wait, is this Did they repeat? Oh, look. Did they repeat? 
Oh shit, they repeat it. Oh, two times in a row, crystal mirror. What the? Come on, guys. I have things to do today. Let's get this over with. Careful. So, Kings is gonna use their first repeat. So, I guess their second deck is probably something like a Heroes or whatever. I guess that's uh, that makes sense. Alright, so A2 is gonna start with his own scrap recycler, gonna send a crystal monster from the deck to the graveyard, sends a soul for near. So from the active phase gonna discard the impact. That's nice, that's nice. So far so good. Is he gonna start with an immediate uh, quarry on play or is he just gonna play it slowly? Goes for his own goes for the city. Is he going to a Bryanic? Okay, no. He's just gonna play it cool. Alright, so summons his other scrap cycling. Sensi Feast Fern. Goes into a coral dragon. Oh, forbidden lands. Oh, nice. So the the crystal monster won't be affected by the impact. So. That's nice. Very nice. Yo, this is over. This has to be over. Does he have a turtle in the graveyard? Yep, he does. Not that it matters. All he needs is a level 2. And he can just banish all of his resources. Oh, this is gonna hurt so much. I think that's an impact as well, if I'm not mistaken. And he still draws a card. That's insane. This man's going all in. Yep. There's the impact, summons and scoops. Uno takes it 2-0. That was very nice play by Uno. Like that Forbidden Lands was like huge. It was super huge.
Alright, so now we're just waiting for the next player from Kings. We still have left Ivan Chavez, ATK Hochem, Necrofair, and uh, Philly Special. Yo, what's up, Soul? Hello, Mr. Soul. How are you doing on this uh, particular day? Particularly nice day. So we're still waiting on the uh, next player from Kings. Necrofair coming in. Alright, so Uno again for in the third third time in a row, starting with a starter. Gonna do his crystal place, gonna set up his board. Special summons to the fist fern. He's doing the exact same things as he did last game. Seeing Yusei Fudo coming in, so probably uh, level augmentation uh, Shiranui. Like some sort of backer uh, Shiranui, I believe. I, I think it's backer Shiranui. Alright, normal summons a spirit master. That's two backer as well. And special summons to Samurai. That's not what you want to see, with no monsters in the graveyard, no zombie monsters, no shooting monsters. So, Sergio's gonna activate, goes into a Amatrix, gonna put down the Samurai into defense. <clears throat> and ends his turn. Ooh, we're gonna see Needle Buck Nest coming in. And Cyclones the other back row immediately. There's gonna be some turn of events. 
Ay, soy Mills. Okay, so he dug his carton before he gets resources into his graveyard. Mill Samurai Skull, Squire, Spectre Sword Shade, a Spirit Master, and a Solitaire. So pretty good mills, pretty good mills actually. He can pop a monster if he wants to with, uh, with the Spirit Master in the graveyard. Chose, chooses not to do so yet. Normal or special summons Coral Dragon. And now he's gonna uh, start popping off uh, with the Spirit Master in the graveyard. Pops the Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon is gonna draw a card. Let's see what he has in his graveyard. So he has a Citri and a Fist for in the graveyard still. Can use both effects still. Alright, so he's thinking right now what he's gonna do. It all depends whether he does have a wheeler in his hand or not in a level 3. Because if that's the case, he can just level 2, go into a quarry on play and... Well... Do we want to banish the Serai? Because he will give him another Spirit Master. Or another... Or... A Squire, I mean. Uh, it's a tricky situation for Uno because if you if you banish the samurai he will get squire back from his graveyard or solitaire whatever he pleases uh, but uh, if you don't uh, if you don't banish him he, he will be a threat uh, banishing your monsters so let's see what he chooses he chooses to banish anyway. Also banishing the uh, spirit master, but that's fine because it's already its effects already used. So that's fine. So he gets back to squire. I guess he's prepared for that. Oh, no follow up. Oh, that's tricky. No follow up. Alright, so he normal summons the squire he just received with the, uh, with the samurai effect. So he probably will go into a level 8 play using level duplication. Oh, it's level augmentation. It's not level duplication. Augmentation. Okay, so he goes into a level 10. But does not have any synchro monsters in his graveyard to use the effect of Sunsaga. So, it's just gonna be a body on the field. It's just gonna be a body. Takes out uh, the Corion. He can get back. What does he have in his banish power? Alright. Goes for the Citri. Level duplication. Coming in from uh, Uno. Targets a Circle Cycler. 
He can go into a bionic. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Man, it really sucks for the Shiranui play that he didn't open any back row. Well, no, not well, he did open back row, but... Um... He didn't draw another back row. Very nice play by uh, by Uno, using a Cyclone uh, on the Katun before he could use it, before he could get the resources in his graveyard. Yeah, this is over. He knows it. This is a very nice play. And that's gonna be their counter. Are they gonna repeat this? They probably should repeat this since they sent this as a counter. So let's see, uh, let me just check the match channel to see if they're gonna repeat or not, or not. Nah. This is not looking good for Kings uh, at the moment. They need to pick up. Uh, they need to take out uh, Uno's uh, Uno's SSA deck. And I don't see anything of a repeat. So nope, no repeats coming in. All right. Opens up with the soul for there, no starter this time. Well, this is also good. I I banishes the fist fern, searching for a turtle. Yep. Alright, goes into a level 6 from the start. Goes into a Coral Dragon. Interesting. Interesting place, my Bajo. Interesting place. Search for the entry. So... Okay. Interesting opening. So we're gonna see Yama Yugi. Is this gonna be um, Invoke Roids? Most likely gonna be. Invocation coming in. Activates a Megaroid City. Yep, it's gonna be uh, Invoke Roids. Megaroid City gonna pop. I'm gonna search a Roids monster. But uses the Cyclone. He did not. He did not set the entry. Interesting. He baited him out, thinking he was safe. Thinking he was safe. Yo, A2, thanks for the follow, man. I saw you playing, man. Going, going zero and two, but it happens, man. It happens. The game just started, so uh, a, a lot can still happen. Uh, Alright, Invocation coming in, he can safely use it, no fear of Lance or Lancia. We didn't see Lancia from Uno. Hmm. 
Nossa, I threw your phone. I hope your phone is okay. Unless it's a Nokia, then uh, you should probably check your wall. Alright, so he takes out the Coral Dragon, still, still is gonna draw. And uh, Necrofair is gonna end up with a Purgatrio in a set. You have another box? Are you rich? Like, like you have another box with a phone uh, laying somewhere? Alright, so he he uses Genex Undyne, he can send a Water Monster, he can send a Smiger. So he does have a... Oh no, he didn't. Well, he does have a, a Turtle in his hand. Oh, I thought he meant another box. Uh, okay. Um, so we know that he does have a Turtle in his hand, so... He can discard the Turtle. And if he does have another wheelie leader, wheelie leader he can just... Uh, go into another level 6 play. He can go into Embryonic if he wants to. Alright, so... Uh, destroys... The Undying goes for a level 3... Ryan, but it gets floodgated. I know. Oh, this is this is bad. This is actually super bad for him. I think he should have used. I think he should have discarded a uh, turtle. I think he should have discarded the turtle when going to a bionic play. I think Uno could have uh, won this. This is not looking good because we know that he search entry and impact. So either of those wouldn't help in this situation. Well, and he doesn't have any tuners to get from with his impact. So this is not looking good for Uno. This is not looking good. Forbidden Lands? No, it's gonna be the Invoker. And just like that, Necrofe is gonna take out Uno's deck. Finally, Kings get a get the first point.
right. Just to break on passes. Oh no. That's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see. Not like this. Not like this. So, Uno is gonna open with the merchant. Gonna search any Karakuri card. Kitty Karakuri. Gonna search for the cash in or them negates. Does have the bonds. Can go into a beret. But it goes for a bad aim. Gonna negate that play. And ends his turn. So he draws a card. His turn. Alright, so he's checking for delays. Alright, Cyclo coming in, gonna banish the Venus chain. Did not want to use the uh, the Megaroid City because I he valued his uh, Phoenix Chain too much. What is his hand? Like I have no idea what his hand is. Alright, so we knew that he has the bonds. Yeah, this is over. Well, unless that's Kiteword, of course, or something like that. Cash guys gonna target on Ninichi, gonna search for another merchant. Gonna model someone again. And going to a level 5. Adds the gamma oil. Gamma oil gonna resurrect another monster from the graveyard. Going to a burrito. Resurrecting Ninichi. Getting back to the merchant. Yeah, this is kind of going on. on its finest. It's gonna draw again. Sets a back row. Guys, Royce. Nothing. One kite are coming in. Yeah, this is not looking good. He needs a Alistair. An Alistair goes for the search for conduit. I haven't seen that in a while. But we know that he has to cash in this card. It's gonna negate it. Does he have an invocation already? He does. He does have it already. But Ballista Squad. Is gonna target the oh my god. Oh no, but he has another <laughs> This is not looking good. It's over for Necrophy. There's not much he can do. Kaito is not gonna help him in this situation. Yeah, he can. 
Also, what's up, Scorpion? And that makes it 4 to 1. Damn, this is not looking good. Alright, so Necrofair is out. He did take out Uno's first deck, which is SSA. He went 3 0 with SSA and won a win with God of Cody so far. And he seems like he's, be he's unstoppable at the moment. Alright, so we still have left from Kings, Ivan Chavez, Hochum and Philly Special. Yo, thanks for the follow, Black Snake. I believe a scorpion. I believe you guys are gonna play 1 p.m. right? If I'm not mistaken. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, I was initially gonna try to take that game actually, uh, but. Uh, um, my teams, uh, both in Cl Team Wars and Clan Wars, we'll, it took a long time to schedule, so I was not sure if I would be able to take it. And then another streamer took it, uh, and I was like, no, no. But now I got this awesome match, so we good, we good. So it looks like that Kings is uh, taking quite some time during the during the switching of players. So I hope they realize they only have 50 minutes to switch for the whole war. So they gotta be quick with sending the players in. Like if you prepared enough, you know which deck you're gonna send in next immediately. Like we're gonna see the first player coming in or the next player I mean Hotem Alright So they're sending in Crow Hogan. Is it just me or do all the players of Kings uh, play with the same mass as Lee's? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
Alright, so it looks like uh Oh no is opening super broken again. Going with the usual Karakuri place, this man does not brick at all. What do you think is better? We sort of balance. Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit biased against balance because balance for our team has worked better. It, it was also the deck that uh, pulled us back into the game this week. So maybe balance, but I'm not sure, to be honest. I think both are fine. I think most people will say restart though. But that's just a hype, I feel like. I just, uh, I, like my my philosophy is you gotta keep exploring. All right, so we're gonna see Ballista Squad coming in. I believe I, I we saw that from Jason last week when he when they were playing against. Um, Against what team? Against what team did he? Ah, uh, let me see. I forgot what team he was streaking against. Like he was going eight and two or something. I forgot it. Let me see. Yeah, against Exanders. Yeah, Exanders. Almost same decks, just different deck cards, I think. Yeah. It doesn't really matter which. Like, I think the thing is. Uh... What did Uno snipe? Finish. Alright, so he has another chain coming in. But we're gonna see Karakuri cash yet. Gonna negate the chain. Well, I guess that's a GG. Feels bad, man. Wow, no fear, no fear, takes another life, Uno going 5 and 1. Going 5 and 1, oh my. I can't believe this. This is a uh, Monka S for uh, for Kings at the moment. They they gotta deal with this with this deck fast. System down in the main. Oh, Bomba, you should have seen my main or my side deck yesterday. Oh, that was amazing. I played like triple system down, two warrior elimination, and two warrior, uh, two last day of the witch. Like just wiping up the boards left and right. It was amazing. We won also. <laughs> Uh, that was funny, man. Like, 
That side deck was crazy, man. Like, super brain dead. I... That's so... I just hope they don't fucking... Uh, shadow game on me. Shadow, let me ask. Shadow game. All right, so it looks like they're gonna repeat. Okay, so they were just thinking about repeating. So it's gonna be the second and final repeat from Kings. So no more repeats. It's not a shadow game, luckily. Oh, so it's gonna be a repeat. Starts, uh, starts with the merchant again, going first again. Oh my god, Uno. This man does not brick. He does not brick at all. Can someone stop him? It's one of those games, I believe. Oh my god, dude. Oh no. Kings, come on! Do something about this. Maxi. Triple monsters, triple set. How is uh, Hochim gonna deal with this? Like he needs to, he needs to CC the back or something, and just need to be lucky hitting the. Oh no, it's a Kazuki. Not even Squire. Oh no. That Kazuki is gonna be hella dead. Yep. Ballista Squad. Gonna pivot over the Nishi, but he does have the Forbidden Lens though. Oh no, Kakui Cashes. This man has everything. This man has everything. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This man has everything. And for Ballista Squad to finish it off. Hitting the Ballista Squad. It's gonna draw again. Another Merchant. Wow. Gamma Oil. 
reviving the uh, beret. All right, uh, this is gonna be six and one. Six and one. Oh my god, dude. And just like that, Uno takes another. This is a, this is just this is just crazy, man. Like the amount of times I've seen Kerku streaked the past few weeks is just unbelievable. Like the deck doesn't seem to brick at all. And he's playing the balance version. Like the balance version for, for also for our team has worked the best as well. So Yeah, you have to open with Neo's healing or something. And even then you have to be you have to pray that he doesn't hit you with the ballista before. Because that's that's why they play ballista. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Alright, so Philly Special's coming in. Again, guys, this man doesn't break. This man doesn't break. He has everything. This man has everything. I can't believe this. Let's see if he has a triple back row again. Nope. Double back row this time. Still a very strong start though. Wow. No monster? Alright, so it's gonna be Alistair. Are we gonna see the trap? No trap. Mega Roar City coming in. Cyclone gonna prevent. Gonna prevent that. This tells me he has to. The, the counter trap so no no fuel for invocation at all no fuel I can't believe this at all oh my god golem <laughs> lava golem one time next to let's go
This is just too much. Alright, chain coming in. Gonna negate. I mean, at this point, you just negate the. Uh... But I guess it's fine as well. Yeah. Because he can still draw. <laughs> so I don't know what the point is of negating uh, Beret. Okay, so he has double chain. Yep, Ballista. Gonna Ballista the chain, I believe. Yep, so he can keep drawing. Like, did he use... Do they play two Gamma Oil? I don't think so. Alright, so he sets the card. Invocation play. Oh, it's gonna negate it. Double invocation. Goes for Cosidus. Does not go for Earth. I guess this is fine too as well. Maybe save it. So right now he needs gold dust. He needs gold dust because he cannot get over it. Alright, so normal soul is in Inishi. He's gonna draw. He needs to get to his gold dust. Oh, he's going for Star Eater. Or Despot Jet, I mean. For the targets, right? Okay, Beret, going back, Gamma Oil is gonna activate, alright I forgot this, this boost is as well, so right now he's gonna force out uh, Alistair, very nice, this is not looking good for Philly Special. That back row needs to be something good. Like a wall of D or something. A wall of disruption. But if uh, Uno has a Ballista squad, it's probably just over. Eh, yep, it's over. And it was a floodgate. It wasn't anything anyway. Uno takes it again. Seven one, guys. Seven one. gonna hurt oh, 
Alright, they go right back into it. It's gonna be Seto Kaiba. Probably gonna with the Black Wings. He's going first again. If Uno has another, has the same setup. Or, okay, he's gonna restart. Starts with Merchant again. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This man is clapping. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this. Kakuri cash cash I can't believe this <clears throat> I cannot believe this at all <laughs> Exactly near He's the protagonist of this anime Yeah, all the whales get lucky. All the whales get lucky. The more you pay into the game, the more lucky you get. That's how it works. So how you look so bad, Hideki? Kick W. Rip. Rip. I mean, if he has, he has to use a lot of gel, a lot of hair product. Like... Alright, so this man needs to have double cyclone or something, or otherwise... It's just over. No cyclones, oh my god, this man's gonna get disrupted. Character cash yet, I'm gonna negate the whirlwind. Does he have Simoon? This man needs Simoon in his life. Alright, so he does have Simoon. So this looks a little bit promising now for... Uh, for Free Special. Is this the game? Oh, no. So no Ballista either, so it has to be the Curry Cash in trap. Is the streak finally gonna be over? Is Philly Special gonna prevent it Offerings to the Doom. So this makes the uh, Karakuri one four times. Oh my god. But I think this is it guys. I think this is finally the end of Uno. Four times in a row. But not the fifth time. It's over. Philly Special finally. Finally. Took out Karakuri. Yo, what's up Mystic? What's up? And that's it, Philly Special prevented the third one. Yo, Excel, thanks for the follow. Philly Special made sure that nobody is gonna get 10 wins.
Uno did amazing. That was amazing played by Uno. If he had a Ballista Squad right there, I think he, he could have won. Like it was over. If, if that was a Ballista Squad, it was over. Alright, Uno is finally out. Oh. But we still have left from Suchiru, Suhei, Oct, SOV, and the OG, the OG King Halo. And looks like Oct is coming in. With Cyber Dragons. But he went second though, so that's not really good. Well, that's the whole thing about Karakuri. You go first, you set up, and you win. That's the whole thing. Same goes for Dark Magician. Back in the day, like back in the day, you, you wanted to go first because you wanted to sack. But now you just want to go first, set up a broken board, and they cannot do anything. That's how the meta is today. And he just normal summons Gale, and that's it? That's not what you, what you want to see. Like, if Ak opens even a little bit good, he can just sack his way through. But... Doesn't look like it, but he does have three back rows, so... Your boy Philly has to be careful of those back rows. He needs something like a Cyclone. Alright, so he top decked the Simoon. He top decked the Simoon. But if Ock has an Overflow... Or something to disrupt this... A Canadia. Alright, so we knew that he had a go in his hand because of last turn. He's gonna reduce the Cyber Dragon by half. And no monster. Is Switch Who's Luck uh, finally running out? Alright. Oroshi hits the field. He can go, he can go to a level 7. Is there going to be a response coming in from Oct? Two Braco left. What is this card though? Raikiri. Are we going to see something? A disruption? Anything. Does not use Raikiri. Is he playing around the Divine Red or something? Alright, so he takes a 1500 overflow. He did not use Raikiri, which is uh, weird. Cyclone? Oh my god. He has a fusion support as well. Oh no. Alright, that's it. GG.
Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it's over. The birds have crashed down from the skies. Down to earth. And Oct takes out Philly Special. Eight to two. This is bad. What did Uno play? Uh, he got three wins with SSA Crestrons, and then he got four wins with uh, Karakuri. No problem. No problem. Uh, let me see. Uh... Oct, third place. Oct, 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 oct. And Philly Special's out, so the only player left is Ivan Chavez. I know he likes to play um, Black Wings from. I casted uh, them last. Uh, Kings last week as well. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna come in with black wings. I'm not sure though. But I did win best calls of season season uh, seven. I did win that award as well. So Kappa. Let's see. Alright, Ivan Chavez coming in. Alright, so finally we're gonna see Karakuri coming in from Kings. I think this this is the first Karakuri I've seen today. Maybe because of the repeats we couldn't have seen uh, Karakuri that much. Alright, uh, both players have all their decks. Alright, so this time Karakuri is starting off for Kings. So looks like that he's opening strong and we see the level 4 Karakuri which is uh, interesting the Nisamu or Floater okay so interesting uh, interesting choice alright we see Cyber Dragon coming in we see Cyber Dragon Veer hitting the field Cyclone 
This is not looking good for uh, for Oct. Okay, so he hits the Canadia. Which is okay. Cybernetic Overflow immediately. Does not want him to start drawing. Karakuri cash in. Wait, what? Yeah, he negated the name. I was like, huh? Very nice play from Ivan Chavez. Nice play. Samurai Destroyer coming in. Ak needs to go into a fusion. Desperately. Is there anything he can do? Canadia. Flips down the the beret. Top decks a back row. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Is this gonna be it? It is a. Not a yeah, it's over. And Ivan Chavez takes it, making the score 8 to 3. Are we gonna see a reverse sweep maybe? Perhaps? <laughs> Who knows? Let's get back into it immediately. Alright, so it looks like Yvonne is gonna start again. Is it de their turn now? Sweeping with uh, Karakuri? Lol. Even, even being like, I can do it as well, Uno. Just watch me. It's, a, it's the Karakuri Wars. The Karakuri Wars. Oh, 
I goes into a break. Do, burrito, burrito, burrito. Yeah, I guess he's going to reverse Uno, you guys. Get it? Scuff. This man's gonna pull a reverse Uno. Just like the game. Alright, so we're gonna see Shirnui going in with the Kazuki. Most likely gonna get negated. Oh, I'm gonna flip over. And just ends his turn? What? Yo, what the? Oh my god. Unless this is fair Karibo or something. What? Oh my god, dude. Yo, thanks for the follow. The one time you pick Axis goes negative. It'd be like that, Bounce. It'd be like that. Wow. Ivan Chavez cleaning up Arc. 2 0. Wow. Aino 4. So it looks like uh, Kings is starting to get a little bit closer to Switcheroo. This is gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting match. If Karakuri keeps opening like this, man. Like the deck is busted, man. Holy shit. Ivan Chavez, 2-0. We still have left from Switcheroo, King Halo, SOV and Suhei. Definitely all big names. All big names players. Most of the guys have uh, placed top 100, top 100 or got a gold icon. In the KC Cup or RQ or even went to Worlds, whatever. So, um, yeah, definitely a strong team. But Kings is not... Going down without a fight, making them sweat a little bit. So it looks like Sue uh, is going. Ivan Chavez, please go to table 3. I don't want to fucking switch names again. Or go to table 2, I mean. Go to table 2. A shadow game or something? No, nee. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, I guess, uh... I guess we gotta watch some street replays then in the meantime. Like, we're gonna, we, we're gonna need to keep uh, ourselves entertained. You feel me? Yo, what's up, Shem? Lol. Yami Merrick versus Sero Kaiba. Oh shit, Void Trapple. Wow, he didn't survive. Damn. He didn't survive. All he needed was one protection. Hey, five gems, let's go. Oh wait, you can just do receive all. Let's watch another one. Keg Zogany. Kek W Unities Magnus Park Let's go Magnus be clapping. Magnus be clapping. Let's go. Alright, let's see. What the?
We're just doing missions, guys. Kick. We gotta speed on this shit. Vinny. I'll accept Vinny. Yo, Suz, Susan. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, we're just waiting for their match to end because they are in a shadow game for the guys that are just coming in right now. So we're just gonna watch some street replays to entertain ourselves in the meantime. Shuffle one Blackwing monster you control into main deck. Add one Blackwing monster from your hand to the deck. Nani. Let's go! Wait, I have animations on? Just win. Legacy landmark. What the? Damn. Ah, uh, his attack got reduced, so he cannot search. She. All right, guys. If you want to beat free-to-play deck, <laughs> no. If you want to, if you, if you guys want to beat Black Wings. Make sure you play World Legacy, Landmark. They're still not... What the?
still just waiting and waiting and waiting. Hey, let's go. Hey. This is taking super long. Wait, what's this? Come on, why is it taking so long? Fight me, let's go. Oh my god, this is taking so much time. No, it's a shadow game. It's a shadow game. That's why I've been watching stream replays all, all the time. You, no problem. What the gladiator beast? Against. Gravekeeper is not neat. I like the street replays never fail to amaze me. Papa Dragon. Let's go. Guys, match has ended. And it looks like Ivan lost. So it's down to the final. Yeah. To the final deck. Ah. 
Alright, uh, so it was Suhei with, uh, with Mokuba. Going to be see you later, Quistrons against Blackwings. Oh boy. This is not looking good for Ivan Chavez at all. I told you guys that he liked to play Black Wings. I told you guys. So he's thinking, thinking about what to search. It's taking a lot of time. Finally goes for the Zephyros. Going for a pixie play, or a, a ancient fairy dragon play, I mean. Going for the necro. Necrofelly. Hits him with the cyclone. Nah, nee. And just ends with an ancient fairy. Oh my god, that's not good.
F. That's it, just like that. Suhei takes the game for... For uh, switch rule going... Making the score 10 to 4. Alright. Let me just get a good uh, card blocker for the replay game. Yeah, I will. Let me see if there are any other guy. Let me see if there are any other live matches going on besides me and... Alright, so we still have Ponkoskun after this. So I will, I, will, I will redirect you guys to Ponkoskun after this. Oh no, wait. The main channel just got live. Right. 
No wonder this took so long. Alright, we're just gonna speed it up. Let's go. Speed run this shit. Let's go. There's still a one still. Goes into Black Rose. Oh, wow. Speedrun, let's go. Cyclones. I think this is the push. Alright. And that's it, so... That's how Sue won the game. Very nice blade. Very nice play. I will uh, redirect you guys to the main channel. Be sure to check it out. And a GG to both teams. So congratulations to Suchiru. And I hope next week we'll uh, get better for Kings. So I will see you guys at the main channel and thanks for joining me guys, see you guys later.